I go past this school every day on my way from my house to my restaurant. This schoolyard really looked abandoned. And, and I just thought, how could children be at school in a place that was just so dilapidated? The principal of the school called me up and he said, come over. Come over, maybe you can help us. Well, we call it the Edible Schoolyard because this is a garden where you can reconnect yourself with the source of your food. The garden provides kind of this hands-on experience for kids. They like to put their hands in the dirt. They like to pick the ripe things. You don't have to tell them which ones are ripe and which ones are not. They, they're just there and they see it and they pick it. The kids don't feel like they're in school. They remember how the worm box works out here. They remember about measuring their irrigation trenches and it opens up their eyes and their nose and their mouths and their ears. It's learning by doing. It's bringing them to the ideas of sustainability and the vision of ecology through pleasure. The pleasure of being outside and, and working in the garden, of preparing food in the kitchen and sitting at the tables and eating it together. I think most kids um, really worry that, that they're not eating with their families anymore and they're out there sort of grazing in fast food nation. It's fast, cheap, and easy. It's saying there's plenty of natural resources. There's always more where that came from. We think of food over here as kind of fueling up and the environment and culture over there. And what we're trying to do here at the Edible Schoolyard with Edible Education is to bring food into the context of nature and culture. That's where all the beauty and meaning is. This is a, a universal idea, Edible Education. To connect the garden with the kitchen and with the table and back to the garden again. I really think that this program needs to be in every school in the country. It needs to begin in kindergarten, you know, even in preschool, way back, so they can begin planting the seeds uh, and that they grow up with this understanding. I call it a delicious revolution. Rethinking our whole food system and thinking about it as the best way to eat flavorful food. We'll never solve the problems of health as long as we talk about it over there, outside of our lives, as fueling up just the way that Fast Food Nation has taught us to think about food. We have to bring it back into this other place. So that's the delicious part of this. It tastes good. It's good for the environment. It's good for the culture bringing us all together and it's so important that we bring kids back to their their senses if you will